Hey guys, welcome again. My name is George Nasser. Today what I'm going to go over is how to make a clatter ring. So there are a few tools I want you to pay attention to. They're very important tools. So not only are you going to be able to create a clatter ring, you're going to create hundreds of styles that of your choosing. So first we're going to start with the, we're going to open our project. Okay, let's right click here to get our tree back. Let's try this. So a lot of times I keep getting um, some of these, they're not coming up, some of the tools. I'm not sure why, but. So anyway, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to the actual model. We're gonna start with just a create rotary axis. We're gonna call this a clatter ring. We're gonna select the finger size Okay, and let's check. Okay, now we're gonna go to the actual model that we created. So here it is. Okay, we're gonna do a few things here. It's very important you pay attention to this one. So first we're gonna draw our heart. So we're gonna take a circle, we're gonna draw it here. Right click, left click, select it. Press N for node. We're going to select the center two nodes and we're going to bring it down, create a heart. Right click, left click to get rid of it. So we're going to select it, escape, press F9, make sure it's centered. Okay, there are a few things here. So if you look at the actual measurement, it says 9 by 9. Okay, so let's fix this one. Let's make it exactly, let's say, 7 by 7. Okay, we're going to apply it so we have a nice heart. Okay, so it's a good shape heart. So now what we're going to do is we're going to draw our crown on top, okay? So we're going to draw a box here. We're going to bring it over, a little bit overlap it. While this is, make sure this is centered. If we press the end, then you can see it's a little bit off. Okay, let's make this one an F9, and let's bring it back up so we know exactly we want to be right dead center. Okay, so overlap it just a little bit. So we're going to press N, we're going to insert a node here by pressing I on the keyboard, and we're going to press A for arc, and do the same, repeat this one on this side. We're going to select only one node, and we're going to bring it in, and select this node, and we're going to bring it in. Okay? You could actually extend these out a little bit if you like, and you could extend this one out a little bit. Okay? If this looks satisfactory, great. If not, you could adjust it the way you like. So let's, to me, you know, I'm very picky, so you could adjust it any way you want, okay? Just for the sake of demonstration, I'm going to go a little bit faster. You could, okay? So here's what we're going to do. Now we're going to take the top and hold the shift key down, select the bottom. we got two ways to do this. So we could actually um, weld them together. Or we can, we're going to cut them. So let's say do uh, right-click. And you can see here how it welded them. So what happened becomes all one piece. Okay. Now, if you don't want it to do it this one, Control Z, that you'll go back. You'll be able to separate the two heights. So if the example, if you want the crown a little bit lower than the actual heart, you could do that as well. But I just want to show you how to use that tool so you could actually link them together. So we're going to do the heart. So press F12. And we're going to raise that. We're going to give it, let's shut this guy. So we're going to give it a half round. And we're going to give it a height. Okay, so start height, let's say one millimeter. Okay, so let's uh, let's give it like two millimeter just to, so it looks better. Okay, so apply and cancel. And if you notice, I'm not, I don't want to go above three millimeter yet because, and I'll make another video and I'll explain to you why. Because anything above three millimeter, this heart will get distorted. So you would have to correct the vector to give it a nice straight edges. Otherwise, it will be all distorted. So we're going to select the top crown, F12, and we're going to give the crown just a start height. Uh, as I said, like before, we're going to do uh, make a little bit lower. Okay, so a little bit below that. And uh, you could actually give it a little height uh, with a little bit half round if you like. Okay, you can bring down a little bit. Okay, let's say apply and cancel. So let's look at our heart from all directions. Okay. So that's what it looks like. All right. So 
the crown you could make it you know a couple loops or whatever you want you could add whatever you want okay so that just to give you some options okay so I could do this here okay we'll give this uh, let's add this above it a little bit let's add this on top Okay, let's let's give it a merge height. Okay, let's give this the same height as the. Okay, you could give it a little bit of half round. Apply and cancel. Okay, just the different things you could do. Now here's what I'm gonna do. You could add actually beads here to give it a little bit of, you know, pretty design by holding the control key on the keyboard and create different things okay and I'll put it there and yeah, let's put this guy here it's fine you know so many people have different ways of drawing a clatter ring you, you know whichever way you like so right click and group them and hold the shift key down while you select the center line Hold the groups and right click to the to the right so they're all on the side. Okay? So that was that's why it was very important to center this. So this one, everything is on the left, so it goes perfectly on the side. So we're gonna select the group circles, right click and group them and press F12. And let's give them a little bit of height. And we're gonna add that to the top of the crown. Okay. Apply and cancel. Okay, so let's look at it. All right, so here. Okay. If you want, now what we gonna do? We could draw two little boxes. Okay, we press T. We grab this little green button here. We could rotate it. We could bring it up. Okay. You could copy that by holding sh and shift to the right. Select both of them by holding the shift key down. Right click and group. And you could punch these through. So that way, you know, if you like that look, that's fine. Okay. So the whole idea is just to show you how you could work with this. Okay. Now, this is what's important right now. What I'm going to do, I'm going to bring an actual relief here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go online. And I'm, I grabbed the, an actual uh, Celtic knot that I really like. So what I'm going to do is over here, uh, when we go back to the to the file, so let's go under the model. Okay, let's go under the clatter. And if we go under the actual bitmap, we're going to open and we're going to import it. Okay, you can see the Celtic. I brought this just from the internet. So let's shut this guy. You're going to see it right there. Okay, you can see the green area. So what I'm going to do, this is a very important tool. So when I'm going to go here, you see this tool right here? It's called bitmap to vector. So I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to reduce my colors. So in this, let's do like just two colors for now. So two, apply, and you can say create. What it did right now, it created all the vectors for us, okay? So these vectors here, let's see, let me show you how you can see them. So automatically created those vectors. So let's move them over. Okay. And you could see them here. Okay, what we're gonna do, we're gonna create use this tool, the weave tool, to to create all that here, okay? Because right now it's just a vector. Alright. So here's what I'm gonna do, okay. While this is still up there, that's fine. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna create a cross section. A very small cross section, no bigger than this. So you, later you'll start adjusting to the actual weave. Select it, press N, and remove the bottom. Okay? So if you want to give it a little bit of half round, you can press N and arc it here. And, you know, if you want to, you know, adjust the arc, that's fine. So what you're going to do, you're going to take all these vectors, and you're going to select this cross section. So let's um, let's move this so it's out of the way. Uh, let's put them over here. So we're going to select them all, and we're going to make sure it's ungrouped, and hold the shift key down, select that little tiny cross section. Okay? You can see it. And we're going to go to our weave wizard here. 
let's shut this and I want to show you what what happened here see how it created it to, for us you could actually adjust it any way you want while it's still in motion here which is still active you could adjust it any way you want by adjusting the cross section okay so if this is okay to you it looks pretty good okay you could apply and cancel all right so here's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this actual this weave here, and I'm going to save it. Okay. So um, let's first delete this guy. So let's uh, I'm going to delete it. Okay. And I want to bring. I just want to I wanted to show you what it looks like. So we're going to repeat this. Okay. Shift and we're going to repeat it. And that looks pretty good. Let's see. Okay. Apply and cancel. All right. So we're going to take this guy, we're going to actually save it, okay? So when we go to the front relief, we're going to open the actual uh, relief library and clip arts. I've done one earlier here, I put it here, but I want to show you how to bring it here. So we're going to grab it. While you're holding the left mouse button, you're going to bring it and drop it off here. You can see it put it there for us. See, it's over here. This is the old one. And you can, so it's on this corner here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to right click and rename it. So I'm going to call this Celtic Knot New. Okay. Because we have this one. It's a little bit tight. I made it a little bit thicker. Okay. So I'm happy with that one right now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to erase this again so I don't need it anymore. Okay. I just did it so I could have it there. Okay, this time we're going to go and we're going to create our shank with the design that we just created. We're going to bring this here. We're going to rotate it. Okay, so that looks good. We're going to shrink it down. And yeah, let's put it over here. If you're happy with that, great. If not, adjust it in where you like. Okay, so to bring it down so it's on the center, rotate it. That's fine. While it's there, we're just going to paste it and make sure we could add, actually add height to it and so forth. So if you click here, you'll be able to give it a height. Okay. And you could paste it. So now, you know, it's a little bit low, I could tell, but you could see it um, here. So it's a little bit lower than the actual heart, which is fine. You could add to it and so forth. Okay. So now we're going to add, we're going to draw our shank. So let's go to the box here. Okay, we're going to draw a shank here. Okay. Select it. Press N to know that we're going to taper this down a little bit here. Taper it down. And you could actually snap this here. Or you could just snap them right there. Okay. You could make the shank any width you like. If this looks okay to you, kind of starts thick to thin. And vice versa. So, okay, let's do snap it here and snap it here. But we can't sweep it. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to insert a node here and bring this here. Okay. So make sure it's within the relief. Okay, that looks good right there. And and all we do is going to raise it. Okay. So let's give this. Uh, F12, let's give it just a uh, one millimeter and we, we could adjust it from there. Okay, so one millimeter is our shank, make sure it's merge high. Okay, and we're gonna give it a little half round look on top and we're gonna apply and cancel. Okay, now all we have to do is just copy to the other side and we're done. Okay, so we're gonna use this tool, relief mirror, and left to right. And here's our ring. Okay. Now remember, you could adjust it any way you want. You could put a stone in the middle and so forth. Just to give you an idea how you could do it. And create something very simple. But yeah, just from something I brought from the internet. And create something very pretty. Like here, you could fix all these divots here if you like. You know, just bring it over a little bit more. Uh, but all these, you could, we could work on those later. But I just want to show you something simple. And I hope you enjoyed this. And please don't forget to subscribe.